各位同学，大家好，我是黄雅玲，欢迎收看今天的英语绘画 English Conversation， 日常生活变的一个转播。今天呢，我们所要讲授的对话为相亲聚会的一些东西。对话的内容呢，我们会以短句的方式来进行秀给各位同学看。但是呢，在每则短句开始之前，同样的，我们还是会先进行该篇短句中所会使用到一些单字的解释。在知道了单字意思之后呢，在看对话的时候就可以比较快清楚的知道内容到底在说些什么了。好，我们现在呢，先来看一下我们对话中所会使用到的这些单字。Number one, never, never， 副词，从不，绝不。好，来看一下我们的例句。I had never done that before. 我从来没有这样做过。Number two, blind date, blind date. 别人代为安排的一个男女初次会面、相亲等等的意思。来看一下我们的例句。She feels uncomfortable about going on a blind date. 她对于要去相亲这件事情感到有点不自在，感到很不自在。Okay, next. Nervous, nervous, 形容词，紧张不安的，神经质的。来看一下我们的例句。I always get very nervous when I talk to my supervisor. 每当我和我的长官说话的时候呢，我总是非常紧张。Okay, next. Barely. Barely, 副词，仅仅。来看一下我们的例句。I could barely make the bus. 我今天呢，差点就赶不上搭公车。Okay, next, compliment. Compliment. 它名词跟动词都是同样的意思，都是恭维的意思。来看一下我们的例句。Rachel was giving a backhanded compliment by Jay. Jay 呢对 Rachel 说了一个隐含讽刺的赞美话。来看下一个例句。He compliments me on my courage. 他夸奖我勇敢。Next, medical. Medical, 形容词，医疗的。来看一下我们的例句。You should present your medical certificate along with your ticket. 你在出示票的同时，也要附上你的医疗证明。Next, treatment. Treatment, 名词，治疗。来看一下我们的例句。I've tried every treatment the vet suggested. 这兽医所建议的每一种治疗方法，我都试过了。Next, maternity. Maternity, 名词，产科医院，产科病房。来看一下我们的例句。Trainee nurses have to work for some week in maternity. 受训的护士必须要在产科病房工作数周。Next, chance. Chance, 名词。机会、运气。来看一下我们的例句。I don't get any chance to talk to my manager recently. 我最近呢找不到机会和我的经理交谈。Next, unless, unless, conjunction, 除非。来看一下我们的例句。I would not leave unless you apologize first. 除非你先道歉，否则我绝不离开。Okay, next. Besides, besides, 副词，此外。来看一下我们的例句。Besides, I want you to pr- promise one more thing. 此外，我要你再答应我一件事情。好，单词的部分呢，我们就先介绍到这个地方。接下来，请各位跟我一起来观赏一下这则简短的话剧。Hi, I'm Louis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Maria. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. 
because I barely meet such a pretty girl like you in this kind of place. Oh, really? Thanks for your compliment. I think there are lots of beautiful girls in this party as well. I'm not sure about that. By the way, are you a student? No, I'm working now. Actually, I'm a nurse and working in the Shirley Cure Hospital. Wow, that's nice. Your hospital is just on the way to my company. If I need a medical treatment and I pop in there someday, please be nice to me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no problem. But I actually work in the maternity department. I think I wouldn't have a chance to serve you. Ha, <laughs> I see. I do believe I had no chance to be in there shortly unless I find a pregnant lady lying on the street. How about you? Is this your first time to be here? It's my first time. To be honest, it's the fifth already. Why? Didn't you find any good girl here for such a long time? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe the timing is not right yet. Okay, so what do you do? I'm a programmer in a software house. I've been working there for nearly three years. Wow, so you're very good at computing? Not perfect, but I think I'm good enough. You know, because computing is my interest and my job. I love playing computer games, so I spend all of my time studying computer science. I see. So can I ask for help if I have some computing problem next time? Of course. It will be my pleasure. Thanks. So what do you like to do when you have some free time? Besides computing games, I also like traveling, playing basketball, swimming, reading books, and watching movies. I also love traveling and watching movies. Where have you been? I've been to all around of Taiwan, Kingman, Mazu, Penghu, and some other countries such as Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, Singapore, and the UK. My goodness, that's a lot. I've been to Japan as well, and I love Japan very much. I like Hokkaido the best and the snows there. Hokkaido is so beautiful, especially in winter. I made a snowman with my friends once and took lots of pictures when I was there. I even dream about Hokkaido sometimes. Have you ever tried skiing? I tried once in Korea. That was amazing. But I'm not quite good at it. I always fall down. No, I haven't had the time to give it a shot. Oh, I wish I would have time to try this someday. Perhaps we can find a time to go skiing together, and you can show me about skiing next time. No problem. Hey, it has been a great time for me to have a little chat with you. I do hope we could meet again after today. So do I. Could I have your telephone number and MSN address, please? Sure. My number is 0900123456, and my MSN address is cutiemaria at inter.net. Cool. Here's my number, 0999-876-543. I'll add you in my MSN list as soon as I arrive home. See you, See ne you next time. time. Bye. Bye. Okay, so there are two people, Luis and Maria. They had never met each other before, they just met each other in a blind date party minutes ago. 所以呢，这里有两个人，这个Louis跟Maria呢，他们呢从来都不认识，他们是一直到刚刚才在这个blanket这个相亲宴席上面呢认识到对方的。So Louis started the conversation. He said, "Hi, I'm Louis. Nice to meet you." 他说你好，我是Louis，很高兴认识你。And then Maria says, "Nice to meet you too. My name is Maria." 他说很高兴认识你，我也是。
我是呢 Maria. Then Louis says, "Sorry, I'm a bit nervous." Louis 有一点紧张，他说抱歉，我有点紧张 ，because I can barely meet such a pretty girl like you in this kind of place. 他说，因为我很少有机会能够在这种地方认识到像你这样漂亮的女孩。Maria says, "Oh, really? Thanks for your compliment." 啊，真的吗？谢谢你的赞美。I think there are lots of beautiful girls in this party as well. 但是呢，我觉得今天这里有很多很漂亮的女孩呀。Then Louis says, "I'm not sure about that. By the way, are you a student?" 他说，哦，这我就不敢确定了。对了，那你还是学生吗 ？Then Maria says, "No, I'm working now." 他说，我已经在工作了呢。Actually, I'm a nurse and working in a Shirley Cure Hospital. 他说，事实上呢，我是个护士，我是在这个 Shirley Cure 这个医院里面做事的。Louis was surprised. He says, "Wow, that's nice. Your hospital is just on the way to my company." He says, "Hey, 真不错耶！我上班的时候都会经过你们家医院哦。So if I need a medical treatment and I pop in there someday, please be nice to me." He says, "If I need a medical treatment and I pop in there someday, please be nice to me." He says, "If I need a medical treatment and I pop in there someday, please be nice to me." He says, "If I need a medical treatment and I pop in there someday, I actually work in the maternity department. 但事实上，我是在这个妇产科工作的。I think I wouldn't have a chance to serve you. 他说我应该没有机会能够为您服务才是吧。Louis says, "Ah, I see. I do believe I have no chance to be in there shortly unless I find a pregnant lady lying on the street." 他说是啊。除非呢，我在街上发现一一位孕妇，否则我想我短期内应该不会有这个机会可以说这样子去到这个地方，去到这个地方来让你服务的吧。我们来看一下补充。Unless, unless 呢，我们说当它加上一个肯定式的动词的时候呢，会等于 if 加上一个否定式的动词。很复杂，我们来看一下例句。Unless you start at once, you'll be late. 这个呢是等于到 if you don't start at once, you will be late. 这意思呢就是说，除非你立即动身，否则你就会迟到。或者我们再来看下一个例句。Don't call me if you need help. 就算你需要帮忙，你也绝对不要打电话给我哦。这个呢，可是它并不会等于说这个 Don't call me if you need, unless you need help. 他说呢，不要打给我、哦，除非你需要帮助。这个 unless 跟 if not 的用法其实是很相似的，可是 unless 呢，不可以用来指说尚未发生的事情的东西，所以不可以用在这个假想的条件句中。再来看个例句 ：We would have had a lovely holiday if it hadn't rained every day. 要不是天天下雨的话呢，我们的假日就会过得非常的愉快了。要注意到的是呢，这一句不可以使用 unless it had rained。这个 unless 呢，常用于引导出这个补充前言的话，就是说我们会对刚刚说过的话呢，想到要加一些些补充。再看一个例句，他说到了 ，She hasn't got any hobbies unless you could watching TV a hobby。说到这个女生呢，她没有任何的嗜好，除非做了个补充。除非你把看电视也算作是一项嗜好。好，我们再回到我们对话的部分。Maria says, "Hi,、huh? is this your first time to be here? It's my first time." 她说，呃、uh, ，那你是第一次来参加这个活动的吗？我是第一次哦。But Louis says, "To be honest, it's the fifth already." 然后老师说，这是第五次了。Maria says, "Why didn't you find any good girl here for such a long time?" 他说，为什么呢？这么长的时间，你都没有遇到什么样好的对象吗 ？Louis says, "Well, I'm not sure. Maybe the timing is not right yet." 他说，嗯，我也不清楚呢。也许是因为时间点还不对吧。So Maria says, "Okay. So what do you do?" 他说，那你是做什么工作的呢 ？Louis says. Oh, I'm a programmer in a software house. I've been working there for nearly three years. 我在电脑公司当工程师，我已经做了快三年了。
Maria says, "Wow, so you are very good at computing." 他说，哇，那你一定对电脑非常在行了吧 ？Louis says, "Not perfect, but I think I'm good enough." 不算是顶尖，但是应该已经足够了。See, you know, because computing is my interest and my job. 那你知道吧？因为电脑是我的兴趣，也是我的职业啊。我们来做一个补充，关于 because 这个单词。这个 because 呢，是一个连接词。后面呢，我们会接句子用来解释原因，但是要特别注意的是 ，because 不可以跟 so 连用。来看一个例句 ，I cannot go because I have a, I have a test tomorrow。我没有办法去哦，因为我的明天有考试。接下来我们来看一下 due to， 补充呢 ，due to 是一个介系词，那后面呢接的是名词或者是动名词，表示理由。Due to 的方式呢，也多半会比 because 来的正式。来看一下我们的例句 ：John was absent due to his sickness. John 呢，因为生病而缺席。接下来还有类似的东西是 owning to。Owning to 呢，则是介系词，后面我们会接受词，表示的是由于什么的原因这样子。来看一下例句 ：Owning to his careless driving. He had a car accident. 由于他开车不小心，所以他出车祸。来看一下同义字的一些单字。第一个 due to， 再是 on account of， owning to， because of， as a result of， as a consequence of， in consequence of， and because。这些都是同样的意思。好，我们再回到我们对话的部分。他提到，他说 ，I love playing computer games, so I spend all of my time studying computing science. 他说，因为我实在是太爱玩电脑游戏了，所以呢，我把我所有的时间都拿来研读电脑类的这些东西。Then Maria says, I see. So can I ask for help if I have some computing problems next time? 他说，那如果我下次有问题的话，我可不可以找你来帮我看我的电脑呢？ Louis says, "Of course, it would be my pleasure." 他说，当然可以啦，这是我的荣幸呢。Maria says, "Thanks. So, what do you like to do when you have some free time?" 他说，那你闲暇时间都喜欢做些什么事情呢 ？Louis says, "Besides computer games, I also love traveling, playing basketball, swimming, reading books, and watching movies." 他说：“扣掉这个玩游戏啊，我也喜欢旅游、打篮球、游泳、看点书啊，还有看看电影这样子。” Maria was so happy. She says, "I also love traveling and watching movies. Where had you been?" 他说：“我也很喜欢旅游跟看电影呢。”那你曾经去过哪些地方旅游呢？ Louis says, "I'd been to all around of Taiwan. 台湾各地我都去过啦。金门，金门。”马祖、马祖、澎湖 ，and some other countries such as Hong Kong， 还有像是香港啊、Japan、日本、Korea、韩国、Singapore、新加坡 and the UK， 还有英国。Maria says, "My goodness, that's a lot." 她说：“我天哪，你去过很多地方耶。”I've been to Japan as well, and I love Japan very much. 她说：“我也曾经去过日本，而且我非常的喜欢日本哦。” I like Hokkaido the best, and the snows there. 我最喜欢北海道跟北海道的雪了。Hokkaido is so beautiful, especially in winter. 北海道呢，尤其是在冬天的时候，真的是很美呢。I made a snowman with my friends once and took lots of pictures while I was there. I even dreamed about Hokkaido sometimes. 他说：“我有一次去的时候呢，曾跟朋友一起做了个雪人，而且我还照了许多的相片。现在有时候我甚至还是会梦到北海道呢。”我们来对 “sometimes” 做一个小小的补充。“sometimes” 它是一个频率副词，表示的是有时候的意思。我们可以用在过去，我们也可以用在未来。放在 be 动词之后，一般动词之前。同时呢，我们也可以放在句首或者是句末的地方。来看一下例句。I sometimes go shopping with Lisa after the exam. 我有时候考完试后呢，会和 Lisa 去逛一下街。Sometimes， 某时
，少了一个 s， 变成了某时，是副词的意思。我们可以用在过去或者是未来的地方。来看一下例句 ：I went to the movies with my friends sometimes last week. 上礼拜的某一个时候呢，我跟朋友去看了电影。接下来我们看到 sometimes， 它是有分开来有空格的 sometimes， 好几次的意思。这个 time 呢，在这里表示的是一个可数名词，是次数或者是时光的意思。time 加上 as 表示次数，用上来修饰复数的 times 呢，表示是几次的意思。来看一下例句，他说到了 he was caught cheating sometimes， 也可以讲说是 he was caught cheating several times， 是呢，他被抓到作弊好几次。接下来我们再看一个很像的东西，叫做 sometime， 没有 s 了，中间也没有空格，表示的是以前的、不常有的。它是一个形容词 sometime。来看一下我们的例句 ：His humor is a sometime thing。他的幽默呢，只是偶尔出现的而已，不常有。或者看下一个例句 ：I have visited her for some times。我已经来拜访她好几次了。这个 sometime 呢，表示是一些时间的意思，是形容词的 some 加上一个 time 的时间，不加 s 呢，表示是不可数，是时间的意思，跟我们前面那个加 s 的那个次数是不一样的。而 some 呢，在这里当形容词修饰 time， 表示是一些时间。再来看个例句 ，Let's go shopping sometime。我们找时间去逛街吧。或者 ，Can you give me some time for my homework? 可以给我一点时间做功课吗？好，我们再看到对话的部分。Louis says, "Have you ever tried skiing?" 他说，那你有试过滑雪吗 ？I tried once in Korea. That was amazing. 他说我在韩国试过一次，真的是太神奇了。But I'm not quite good at it. I always falling down. 他说我不太会滑呢，一直摔倒。来看一下补充，补充说到了 quite quite so and such 这个东西，我们来做个比较。口语上来说呢，这个 quite so and such 很类似，可是 so 这个字用起来略显粗鄙了一点。我们比较常用在一个同才朋友间或是不正式的一个场合。quite and such 他们比较类似，可是 quite 呢比较像是英式英文的用法，较为含蓄，就像美国人爱用 such 一样，在日常生活中用 such 就可以了。可是，如果是较为正式的一个场合呢，真诚的使用 quite 会比较好一点。来看一个例句，我们说和别人相亲的时候，别人问你那个人好不好，你可以回答 ，That guy is quite a gentleman。这是比较含蓄的一种说法，我们用 quite。还有另外一种说法是 That guy is such a gentleman。这是比较夸张的一种说法。好，因为时间上的关系，又加上我们的课文内容比较长，我们今天呢就先讲到这个地方。我们先休息一下，待会回来我们来做一个重点的回顾。好，欢迎回来。在看完了对话，我们也讲完了课文之后，不知道各位还记不记得我们今天都上了些什么东西？我们现在呢会来做一个重点，我们今天讲过的重点的一个回顾。第一个，我们提到 unless 这个单字，我们说到 unless 加上一个肯定式的动词的时候呢，就会等于 if 加上否定式的动词 not 这样子。来看一下例句，例句就讲到啦。他说 unless you start at once, you will be late。那除非你现在就出发，否则你一定会迟到哦。我们也可以讲说是 if you don't start at once, you will be late。同样也是，除非你立即就动身，否则你会迟到哦这个意思。或者我们讲说 ，Don't call me if you need help。他说，就算你需要帮忙，你也不要打给我哦。可是呢，我们如果说 Don't call me unless you need help， 这却是不一样的意思了。这里讲到的是，除非，除非哦，除非你需要帮助，否则不要打电话给我。我们提到这个 unless 跟这个 if not 这个用法呢很相似，可是 unless 呢不可以用来指说我们还没有发生的这些事情的东西。所以呢，我们就不可以用在这个假想的条件句当中了。或者我们也可以讲说 ，We would have had a lovely holiday if it hadn't rained every day。他说，要不是天天下雨的话呢，我们的假日就会过得非常的愉快了。特别要注意的是，这里不能够使用 unless it had rained。这个 unless 呢，我们也常常用来是用来补充前言的。
，用来引导出一些话，像是要对我们刚刚说过的话来加一点点补充。来看个例句，他说到 ：She hasn't got any hobbies unless 做了一个补充 ，unless you call watching TV a hobby。他说他没有任何的嗜好，除非呢你把看电视也算作是一项嗜好的状态。接下来我们又提到 because 因为这个东西，我们讲因为的讲法有很多种讲法。这 because 呢，我们是用来当做连接词的状态，后面会接句子，多半是用来解释原因的。特别要注意的是 ，because 跟 so 不可以连用。比方说，我们会讲到说，哦、oh, ，I cannot go because I have I have a test tomorrow。他说我没有办法去，因为我的明天有一个考试。还有一个因为叫做 due to， 这个 due to 呢是个介系词，后面我们会接上名词或者是动名词的状态，通常呢是用来表示什么样的理由。这 due to 的用法呢，我们也都说它是比较正式的状态。我们来看个例句，例句中就说到了，他说 John was absent due to his sickness。这样呢，因为生病，所以他缺席了。还有个因为叫做是 only to， 这个 only to 呢是个介系词，表示说呢。由于什么的原因？由于点点点这样子。来看例句，他就有提到，那时候就讲到他说 ，Only to his careless driving, he had a car accident。他由于他开车不小心的关系，所以他就出车祸了。我们也提到很多跟因为有关的同义字，像是 due to, on account of, only to, because of, as a result of, as a consequence of, in consequence of。And because 这八种单字，接下来我们也提到啦，像是 sometimes 这个频率副词的东西，我们说到这 sometimes 是可以用在过去以及用在未来，放在 be 动词之后，一般动词之前，也可以放在句首或者是句末的状态。那这个 sometimes 呢，我们做了非常多的补充，关于这个 sometimes、sometime 合在一起的，还有像是 sometimes 中间有个空格的，还有像是。Sometimes， 中间没有空格，中间有空格。我们讲到了这么多种用法，这个 sometimes， 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 它其实都是代表的很类似的东西，很类似的句子。我们讲到说，这个 sometimes 加一点时间，加一个，或者是有空格没有空格，其实它都有差很多的东西。比较特别注意到的是，这个 sometimes 它是一个频率副词。如果说呢，我们以后想要用到这个频率副词的时候呢，你要特别注意到它所放的这个地点时间，你要放在这个一般动词之前 ，be 动词之后。接下来呢，我们最后还做到了一个补充，叫做是 quite so and such。口语上来说，这个 quite so and such 都非常的类似，可是 so 这个字其实说真的用起来。比较没有那么的文雅一点的，我们都不在用在这个同才朋友之间，或者是一个不正式的场合。至于 quite 和 such 这两个类似的单字呢，其实它们唯一最大的差别在于 quite 比较偏英式用法，用法呢较为含蓄，就像美国人爱用的 such 一样。那我们今天呢就先讲到这个地方了，希望各位同学真的有记住我们今天到底说了些什么东西。那我们下周再见啦，拜拜。